today when cash is king. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics, World and Latest Posts, covering finance and property news with a distinctively Australian flavour. As you know, I've been banging on about the cash restriction legislation. The Senate will be holding another hearing in Sydney on the 30th of January. One of the arguments I've been making is that you cannot take this simply at face value, that the restriction of cash is not just related to money laundering, nor indeed removal of civil liberties, but there is a broader question about what happens to cash in a negative interest rate environment. Because the chances are people will prefer to hold cash out of the banking system, whereas the regulators will be very keen to keep cash in the banking system to support financial stability. So there was a very interesting article today in CNN Business, which described the situation in Switzerland. And I wanted to take you through that article because I think it tells the story quite well and underscores what we've been saying about the fact that cash is king in the negative interest rate environment. So the headline is, the rich have had enough of negative interest rates. Some are pulling cash out of Swiss banks. And this was an article published on the 23rd of January and connected with the Davros conference. So it says, Davos, Switzerland, CNN business. Banks are meant to hold cash. But in Switzerland, some rich savers are looking for alternatives. Swiss private bankers say that clients have asked to withdraw large amounts of cash so they can store it themselves despite the country's reputation as a secure and reliable place for wealthy investors. Some of that money may now be sitting in private safes and storage. The unusual moves follow the five years of negative interest rates. The policy, intended to keep the Swiss franc from appreciating too much, requires banks to pay to park money with the Swiss National Bank. In some cases, banks have passed a portion of the extra costs on to their most affluent customers. Such policies are unpopular with clients who are used to earning interest on the deposits, not paying fees. Now some are weighing more radical ways to protect their money. A lot of people are thinking about what they should do and alternatives to this, said Adriel Jost, head of economics at Wellesfoss and Partners, a consultancy based in Zurich. Norman Willemann, chief investment officer for private banking at Switzerland's UBP, said a limited number of clients have moved their cash into private storage. Many have sold their businesses or are home recently and can't deploy the cash all in one go, he explained. Similar requests have been received by bankers at the Swiss private bank Ron Brodman, according to partner Martin Biderman. We tell the client, watch out, it's your money, Biderman said. Some have still moved ahead, he added. Banks in Switzerland generally see charging customers to hold their cash as a measure of last resort. The bank will discuss with the clients if you do these other things with us that allow us to make some money, we won't charge you, Villeman said. I do think the banks are going out of their way to try to find a way not to charge large cash holders. Biderman said he was aware of similar discussions with clients. Still, some banks have been forced to levy charges on their biggest account holders after years of extraordinary monetary policy. Negative interest rates launched in Switzerland in 2015 have made it harder for the country's banks to generate profits on loans and mortgages. Payments on excess reserves that need to be stored with the central bank have also caused pain. Credit Suisse announced last year that it would apply a negative 0.75% interest rate to cash balances above 2 million Swiss francs or 2.1 million US dollars. This means that if an individual client or business holds 3 million Swiss francs or 3.1 million US dollars with the bank for one year, they would be charged 7,500 Swiss francs or 7,750 US dollars. UBS also said last year that it would apply a 0.75% fee on cash balances above 2 million francs or $2 million held in Switzerland. Both banks declined to comment on whether they'd received requests from high net worth clients to take out cash. 
But it's no easy feat. Even if clients do want to withdraw a large sum of cash, the logistics aren't easy. First, the customer would need to come up with a storage and insurance plan. Ludwig Karl, a spokesman for Swiss Gold Safe, who rents safe deposit boxes in Switzerland and Liechtenstein, said that the company has seen increased interest in cash storage since 2015, but getting large amounts of Swiss francs out of a bank could be difficult, he observed. Biderman noted that once a client withdraws a significant amount of cash, they could struggle to deposit it again down the line. Any bank would have questions if a client arrived with 800,000 Swiss francs in cash five or ten years from now, he said. Swiss National Bank President Thomas Jordan has said that demand for cash hasn't spiked since 2015, but data shows that the number of banknotes in circulation has increased steadily since the 2008 financial crisis, which ushered in the era of low and ultimately negative interest rates. A spokesperson for the central bank said that low interest rates, along with the Swiss franc's reputation as a safe haven asset, have played a role. Notably, the number of 1,000 Swiss franc notes in use has risen faster than any other denomination. In the topsy-turvy world of negative rates, cash isn't the only asset to benefit. Ashtok Schoen, CEO of IBV Vaults, which has a facility in Zurich, said that storing gold has been big business for him. Butterman, meanwhile, says clients have wanted to allocate more money to reliable dividend-paying Swiss stocks, such as healthcare giant Roche. Pressure on Europe's central banks to alter course is growing, as investors scramble for security. In September, the Swiss National Bank said it would raise the amount that banks could store without being subject to negative interest rates. Even so, the Swiss Bankers Association of Trade Group issued a report the following month claiming that negative interest rates no longer fulfil their economic purpose. The European Central Bank, which has had negative interest rates in place for the 19 countries that use the euro since 2014, has also faced calls to investigate the policy's harmful side effects. Banks in Europe and the region's pension funds have suffered as well. President Christine Lagarde is expected on Thursday to announce the start of a review of the central bank's strategy, including the tools it's used to juice the economy in the past decade. Before taking the reins in November, Lagarde said that European citizens would be, quote, worse off without negative interest rates, but promised to monitor their adverse side effects as ECB president. So there you have it. It's really important to understand that in the negative interest rate world, tables are turned. But actually also, cash is definitely king. Now, come back to the cash restriction ban. Of course, making it harder to take money out of the bank, making it harder to make transactions in cash outside the banking system, and ultimately restricting access to those notes would be all part of the plan. And... If you think this is just a conspiracy theory, then just learn from Switzerland. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.